Hey, in the previous video, we have started talking about thalassemia. Now, let's get into it. And let's talk about alpha thalassemia. Alpha thal is the topic of today's video. Again, symptoms of anemia, tired and pale, pale and tired. Sometimes I have murmur, sometimes I have angina. Also, fatigue, exercise intolerance, etc. As you know from the previous video, thalassemia is a problem in the globin chain. Whether it's alpha or beta, it's kind of similar. So, normal hemoglobin, normal adult hemoglobin has two alpha subunits and two beta th subunits. They are called hemoglobin tetramers. Okay, two alpha and two beta. That's fine. So, thalassemia defecting globin chains. That's thalassemia in general, alpha thal or beta thal. So, two things will happen. Number one, decreased globin synthesis will lead to decreased hemoglobin because hemoglobin consists of heme and globin. Decreased hemoglobin synthesis will lead to decreased number of RBCs, i.e. anemia, because anemia has low RBC count, low hemoglobin, and hematocrit. That's number one. Number two, when we have a problem in the globin chain synthesis, hemotitramers will form. Certain products, okay, will form. And they are insoluble, so they precipitate in the RBCs. Fine. What will happen? The spleen will recognize these abnormal RBCs with the abnormal precipitate and will start destroying the RBCs, leading to RBC hemolysis. The bone marrow will try to respond by producing more RBCs. Uh -uh. Unfortunately, I cannot synthesize globin, so I cannot synthesize hemoglobin. I'm not able to do my job. Ineffective erythropoiesis. Poor bone marrow. So, thalassemia, be it alpha or beta, Two things will happen. Number one, I have anemia. What type of anemia? Microcytic anemia. And also, problem in the globin chain synthesis will lead to hemolysis and ineffective erythropoiesis. Let's dig deeper. Alpha thalassemia is a problem with the alpha chain or the alpha subunit. Okay? Chromosome 16 has two copies of the alpha gene at two different loci. So, two times two equals four alpha gene. We have four genes responsible for producing of the alpha chain or the alpha subunit. Okay, so, if I delete one of these genes, I'll have a problem. If I delete more, I'll have more problems. If I delete even more, I'll have more problems. Okay, so the more deleted, the worse the symptoms. Keep that in mind. So, if only one locus is deleted, it's called alpha thalassemia trait. And it will have, one of them will be alpha alpha, the other will be alpha negative. So, since we have four genes, so it will be like this. Two of them are normal and these others, one has alpha and one is negative. Okay, what are the symptoms? This patient or this kid is completely asymptomatic. Okay, what about if two loci are deleted? We call this alpha thalassemia minor. It can be either alpha negative, alpha negative, or alpha alpha negative, negative. What are the symptoms? Asymptomatic, maybe have very mild microcytic anemia, and of course microcytic anemia has low MCV. Okay, now, three loci deleted. Okay, so, three of the alpha are deleted. So, beta chains will now be unpaired, okay? They form beta-4 tetramers. We said when globin chains are deleted, hemotetramers are formed. In this case, beta-4 tetramers. They are present in the RBCs, but not in the bone marrow. These hemoglobin H or beta-4 tetramers. What are the symptoms? Moderate to severe 
hemo hemolytic anemia. So there are symptoms. Number four, which is the worst of the worst. It's called hemoglobin parts. What's hemoglobin parts? Okay, all of the alphas are deleted. So gammas, okay, form tetramers. They're called hemoglobin parts. And of course, there is no effective erythropoiesis. Why? This gamma four has very high affinity to oxygen, so I cannot deliver oxygen to tissue since it's bound to the gamma. Okay, that's fine. What are the symptoms? High drops fatalis. Death in utero. The baby dies in the uterus. So, hemoglobin electrophoresis tells me the percentage of each type of hemoglobin. So, normally, we have 97% of hemoglobin A, 2% of hemoglobin A2, 1% of hemoglobin F. However, in alpha thalassemia trait, I'm talking about the trait, okay, 97% hemoglobin A, 2% hemoglobin A2, 1% hemoglobin F. So in alpha thalassemia trait, hemoglobin electrophoresis is completely normal. However, if three genes are deleted, it's called hemoglobin H disease. So in hemoglobin H disease, what will be the hemoglobin electrophoresis? It will detect hemoglobin H. If four genes are deleted and it's called hemoglobin BARTS, what will be discovered on electrophoresis? The hemoglobin BARTS. So, alpha thalassemia trait, hemoglobin electrophoresis is normal. Hemoglobin H disease will get hemoglobin H. Hemoglobin BARTS will get hemoglobin BARTS. So, what's the most common or most accurate test to diagnose alpha thalassemia trait or alpha thalassemia in general? It's genetic studies. That's the most accurate. So alpha thalassemia is present in African, Mediterranean, and Southeast Asian population. How to manage alpha thalassemia? If only one locus is deleted, it's asymptomatic, do nothing. Two loci, asymptomatic, mild anemia, decrease MCV, like you have to observe them. Three genes deleted, moderately severe hemolytic anemia, we have to get blood transfusion. Have to give them blood. Okay, we try to postpone it until they become adults. Hydrops fidelis, there is nothing you can do to cure it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no cure. That's it for alpha thalassemia, and I'll see you next video.